I'm employed as an engineering technician on the shifts. Um, the role here is day-to-day -day maintenance, repairs, dealing with breakdowns with all the plant machinery. I, I sold the company from the from the beginning, basically, when we had just one line running, like ten people on the line, and almost twenty people in the factory. Only. So yeah. I saw it from the beginning till now. I started off as just a normal hygiene operative and I've worked in every position on the hygiene team uh, in every department, which is why I got a team leader job. The support that was given from uh, the management team within Marine Harvest and the support from Jerk even afterwards, constant emails back and forward and silly little questions, or I think now they're silly little questions, at the time they were huge, um, and getting direct answers back and all the support that we could need, you know, it was really good. When I've seen online sort of the, the growth that Marine Harvest has had, and particularly in the salmon industry, within Scotland the past few years it's, it's been quite sharp and rise, and knowing that that sort of happened, there's, there's always going to be a fresh engineering challenge there to to maintain that level and improve it and keep it there. I moved back to Scotland four years ago and there's a stop gap. I jumped into security because I had a family member who had a, his own company. Um, got me into security just to get me back into to Scotland and re-establish myself. And the con we got a contract down here. Um, through the early hours of the morning, on a few occasions I spoke to Gary Patterson, um, just in general chit chat and he, he said to me he was looking for people to come to his kilns department. I explained I didn't have any experience in kilns, but I did have a, a catering background and I'd worked in a factory before, so I know the environment. And he said, don't worry about that, come on in, we'll look after you. I have a laugh with the guys. They're, um, they're all professionals. We know that when the work's going to be done, we do the work, um, but we still have a laugh at the same time. But the work gets done and that's what makes it good. I actually love my job, you know, that's that's the truth of it. When I come in here and you, you take a raw piece of fish and you change it into a smoked fish or a traditionally smoked fish um, and the art that's involved with that. And there's a trust in me to do my job. I am basically left and want to do my job. Um, hence the reason I probably never see a manager and when I do see a manager it's very far and few between and it's normally they pop their head in, see how things are and then they go again. Marine Harvest give a chance to prove ourselves in, the, in new roles in the factory, in the company. Um, the team is a great bunch of lads. Uh, the engineers got quite a wide sort of mix of personalities from different backgrounds um, and including cultures. Um, but the one thing I've found in here is that folk are always happy just to lend a hand or even a spanner if you're needing it. There's quite a good rapport between everybody on our team, and um, yet yeah, like it's a challenge every day. So um, yeah, it's quite good. You can go and you can talk to any one of them. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter which of the hierarchy you go to. They speak to you like a, a general, normal human being. You know, there's, you've not got to make an appointment to go and speak to Gary. If you want to go and speak to Gary, you, even in passing, you know, you can approach him. At the moment, I'm, I'm happy where I am. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future, what, is, what it will be.